Hi guys, I'm Steph. Thank you so much for checking out my video today. I am super excited to be bringing you the second update in my Finish 18 in 2018. When I initially started this project, I said I was going to do updates every two months, but so much has happened in the last month. I couldn't wait another month to share with you the progress I've made. I am just so excited and happy, so I think I'm going to be doing monthly updates because I'm just... It's going well and I want to keep the momentum going and all your support has meant so much to me. Everyone like saying great progress is just really encouraging and keeps me going. So thank you so much to everyone who has liked, commented, just watched my other Project Pan videos. I really, really, really appreciate it. If you haven't seen the intro or the first update, I'll link those down below. But let's go ahead and get right into this second update. So first, starting off with the products. I finished. That's right, I have finished some products. I am so excited. So, the first product I finished, I actually finished on March 5th, like right after I posted my first update. I didn't know how little was left or I would have saved it, but anyways, the first product I finished was the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. I am so happy. This is probably, this was, probably one of the least favorite primers in my collection. I just found that it was really almost, I don't want to say heavy, but it really didn't sink into the skin when I would apply foundation on top of it. It kind of just moved it all around, but I found that actually putting it on, doing something else like blow drying my hair, packing my lunch, kind of giving it five, ten minutes to sink into the skin, it worked so much better. I still definitely would not repurchase it, would not recommend it, but I found a way that made it work for me that it wasn't terrible to use up, but I am so happy and proud of myself to have finished this. This is the first product I finished in this project. The second product I finished was today, right before I filmed this video, as was the third, so very great timing. I knew I only had one use left in this, so I was saving it right before I filmed this video, but this is my Clinique Stay Matte Oil-Free Makeup, and like, it is done. I am so happy. This foundation was really getting up there. I don't know if you watched the intro, but the majority of these products are from before I started YouTube, before I started watching YouTube, before I was even really into makeup. So these are definitely some of the oldest things in my collection, and I really wanted to get out the oldest first and go from there. And when I first bought this foundation, this was the only foundation I had for like a solid year but I do think it wasn't the right shade for me to begin with. And on top of that, I do think with age, it has oxidized and gotten darker. I'm wearing it today. You can't really tell because I'm like trying to wear a shirt with a higher collar, but it is definitely a not my shade. But I don't hate how it looks. What I really do like about this was, because I was using this before I got into makeup, I would just like squeeze it on my hand and kind of just like, rub it in with my fingers. I know some people are kind of like, oh, using their fingers to apply makeup, but I loved how quick this was when I was in a rush in the morning, so I am going to miss that aspect of it, but I have this whole found first impression foundation series on my channel, so I definitely have a lot of foundations to get through, so to have one less in my collection is pretty exciting. The last product I have just finished up is my Body Shop lipstick. Last update, I thought this is going to last me the whole year using it just as a lipstick, but I started to use it as a blush and I love the way it looked as a blush. I'm wearing it alone on my cheeks today so you guys could really see it and on my lips, this is the only lipstick I am wearing. The thing is, this was very, very old and when I was applying it on my cheeks today, I had very, very little left and the rest and it just slipped right off the top of it and I couldn't kind of get it to go back in so I used it my finger to put the rest on my lips but I'll show you guys what I'm talking about like this is the inside of the tube it is like full of stuff sticking to the sides and here it is here it's kind of like a little disastrous mess but it just makes honestly the majority of this if I roll it down that is actually what is left because everything else we're seeing is plastic so I really did use it to the best of my ability, but I can't apply this as lipstick anymore. It is just too messy. And then to apply this as a blush, 
Maybe I can get one more use out of it, but again, like I said, I tried applying it today and the whole thing just kind of fell right off the stick and I was like, oh. So I think this is done for it, but I wanted to showcase it one last time, alone on the cheeks and alone on the lips. This is the first lipstick I've ever finished. I'm super excited. I definitely have a lot of lip products in my collection, so I won't be throwing another lipstick in right now, but I have a whole idea planned out for my lipstick collection, so if you love licks, lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, like if lip products are your thing, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned because I have a, I have something coming to, to do with my lip collection. Now let's get into the products that I have made some progress on before we go into the products that I am rolling in because it is the beginning of the year still, like we're only in April, it's the fourth month. And I really do want to finish 18 products in 2018 and I'm not 100% sure if everything I include at the beginning of this project is going to be finishable. So I want to roll some stuff in so I make sure I hit that 18 mark. I don't know if I'm going to be rolling things in all the way throughout the project because I really don't see myself rolling something in in October and being able to finish it. So I'm going to kind of play it by ear but as I see now I think we're early enough in the year that I can add products in that I think are still manageable within the next eight months. I mean, that is quite some time to go, so I think we're gonna be okay, but let's go into the products that have been here from the beginning. So here I have my e.l.f. face powder in translucent. Just to clear up some confusion, when I talk about the weight of this, I am talking about both the packaging and the powder inside because I can't really weigh it without the packaging. So when you purchase the product, from my understanding, there is eight grams of powder. So when I first started this project, the container plus the powder I had was at 55 grams. And then on my first update, the container plus the powder was 53 grams. Only thing that changed was the powder, so I used up two grams of powder in that first update. When I weighed it just now, it is at 52 grams with the container plus the powder, so that is one gram of change, so I've used up one gram of powder, which is kind of surprising because I feel like I have been using it a lot more than I did between my intro and my first update, but it is what it is. I am happy with my progress. I'm going to try to show it to you without it going everywhere. See, this is, here we go. So as you can see, it, the pot goes to like here. It doesn't start till there. This is how much I have. I really do think it is coming along. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to have it finished by the next update, but I don't see it. It's not going to be here until the end of the year. I'm really happy with my progress on it. I don't wear loose powder every day as I do kind of find it a little messy and when I'm in a rush in the morning, I'm already in my clothes for work. I don't want white powder everywhere. So when I can fit it into my routine, I do and I'm really happy with the progress that I've been making. Next to share with you is my e.l.f. Sunkissed Glow Bronzer and here is where I am at right now. I'm going to insert pictures of my intro and my first update so you can kind of see the progress as I've been. But I find it really hard to pick up product at this point. As you can see, my brush really does land in the middle. It is a bit of a fluffier brush, so to pick up along the edges here and pick up at the top here, it isn't quite doing it. And I find I find it hard to coat my brush evenly and get even distribution on my face. So. After this, I am going to repress this powder. So this is what it looks like right now. I'm going to take a picture as soon as I repress it so you guys can see what it looks like going forward. But before I repress it, I just wanted to show you the progress. Next up is my Smashbox Soft Lights Prism Blush. I have <laughs> been working hard on this. When I originally did this, there was a little bit of ring showing there was already a lot of pan. I would like to think I've expanded it the tiniest little bit, but this is proving to be a lot more difficult than I anticipated. I was wearing it as a blush topper for the first two months, and then this past month I have been wearing it more as just a blush on its own, but I have been wearing the lipstick every day as a cream blush. And today I didn't want to put it on top because I did want to let the, the lipstick have its last shining moment before it is no longer usable. But I think now that that is out, this is going to allow me to maybe use up a bit more product, go in maybe a bit more heavier with it, I'm hoping. 
See, the thing is, I'm like, should I be going for a side pin or should I be going for the rest of the ring? And I feel like that's why you can't really see progress either way. It's because sometimes I focus here, sometimes I focus here. So there's not consistent focus anywhere, but there is consistent use on the product. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's going to turn out okay. <laughs> but this is where I'm at. And I really do love this blush. It's still performing really great. So I'm very happy with it. But I would... <laughs> I would like to see some more progress, but we shall see. Both the blush and bronzer I am wearing on my eyes today. I got a comment saying that that was a great way to use the product, and I really like how the look came out. It is very nice and soft, and I think it's like a beautiful, easy look to wear to work, transitioning into spring. I really, really like it. So thank you so much for that suggestion, and I'm sure that is really going to help me go through those products that little bit extra faster. So in my last update, I did say that the Clinique Stay Matte was going to be my focus before I went in with this one. That wasn't quite how it worked out. I was using this one throughout the month, but I have made a little bit of progress on my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer, as you can see here for the second update mark. So intro, first update, second update. It is getting down there. I It is super messy. I don't know what happened to it, but I'm finding it... I definitely have to put the applicator in a lot more to keep, to have enough to put on my face. When I first started using this, I needed to put the applicator in, like, take it out, apply, put it in, take it out once, apply, and that was good. Now I find myself dunking in, like, five, six times to have enough product, so that's really encouraging that there is definitely less product in there, less product is coming out, so I'm really happy with the progress I'm making. Like I said, I do have other foundations in my collection, so I don't think I have any plans to like solely focus on this for the next month or two to get it out. The goal is still to get out by the end of the year, but by no means do I feel pressure to get this done anytime soon. I just kind of want to enjoy the other foundations I do also have while still incorporating this into the rotation. Next, my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle. Hopefully you can see the marks. Intro, first update, second update. So intro to first update was two months. And then update one to second update was only one month. But I still used quite a bit of product. So I'm really happy with that. It is getting down there. I don't think I'm going to be finishing this in the next month. But I don't see it being here once we get to the halfway point of the year. So that is super exciting to see the progress on that because... Two months and at that point I was kind of like, oh, this is going slower than I thought. So it's really encouraging to see that progress. Next is my e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. I'm not really sure how to show you as it is opaque packaging, but when I look in, I can definitely see that there is a lot. There's like no product on this side here. There's like a little bit of product on this side at the bottom. It looks like it's only till about there. It's really hard to show you, but I shone a flashlight in and it kind of, you can see where there's less product. When I pull it out, there like there is still enough on the applicator to do both eyes. So we shall see. It seems to be going strong, but I can tell that there is progress being made. Here we have my Benefit Cabrow in shade 3. This is going. I feel like pomades do take forever, but I can definitely see the indent and that makes me really happy. I really wish it was more easy to see. Again, I am going to show you the intro and the first update picture so you can see the changes and hopefully you are able to see the changes because I did not have a lot of use of this at the beginning and there is quite a dip going on. So I'm really happy with my progress. Like it's not my favorite brow product to use but I really have been using it. I would say 7 out of 10 times when I do my brows I do reach for this product so I'm happy that this project is encouraging me to use something I probably would just let sit there otherwise. Speaking of brow products, here is my Hard Candy Brows Now. So I am focusing on the highlighter side, but I use the gel side every single day. And I do find that there is less product coming out. So that's encouraging that this could be ending. But for this pro, it is a dual thing and I'm kind of focusing on both, but really I'm just measuring the highlighter. So I'm excited to show you my progress there. Every single day I do my brows whatever product I use. If I don't end up using the gel that day, I do use this. So here is how much there is. And I'm going to show you on the paper so we can see the progress. So this is it here. As you can see, we have intro, first update, second update. So not a whole lot of progress, but 
it is making its way there. We do have quite a bit left, but I still think that by the end of the year, it's, it's going to get there. So I do also use it as an inner corner highlight at times. And I do really like it for that. So maybe trying to find some other purposes for it other than just under the brow bone is going to help get me through this product a little bit faster. I have three eyeliners in this project and I kind of have to admit these, <laughs> these are giving me some trouble. As you might know if you have been hanging around my channel, I just did a Battle of the Drugstore Nude Highlighter, so I'll link that down below if you're interested. But I was using those on my lower waterline to kind of open the eye, brighten up a little bit, which is usually what I use the white NYX pencil for, so this didn't get as much use this month because I was really testing out those nude eyeliners and putting them to the test. But there is some progress that I'm excited to show you. So here we are right here. As you can see, there's like a little bit of progress. Not as much as there was between intro and first update, but I'm happy to see that there is still some going on. Again, with the Annabelle Black Liner, not a whole lot of progress, but it's happening. It's getting there. So as you can see, <laughs> intro, first update, second update, there's barely enough room to make that line, but it is something, so I am going to continue to use it. I do have to say, I don't really use the black eyeliner a lot. I used to really be big into black lining, like lining my waterline with it, but it just, it really closes off my eyes and I find I haven't been going for that look so much lately. Maybe when I'm wearing a bit of a darker eye or I'm going out at night for my everyday makeup wear, it just hasn't been something I've been reaching for. When it comes to adding that darkness to my lower line, like I said in my last update, I have been reaching for the Rimmel Exaggerate in Aubergine. So here it is here. I'm kind of nervous about putting it up all the way as it is like not super secure in there. But here we are here and I'll show you guys on the paper the progress. So please remember between this update and last update is only a month. The first is before it was two months. And I do think you can still see like there is steady progress happening here. And I do think this is going to be finished before the end of the year. Usually for my highlight I use the Benefit What's Up as a base and then go over it with a powder today and I'm just bring it on its own because I just wanted to showcase it a little bit, give it some love on its own. Even though I wear it every day, I feel like it isn't really the star when I think of my highlight. And I kind of like having that base. It gives a little bit of something, but the fact that I've been wearing this every day, it's hard to believe how much product is still there. It has definitely gone down as you'll see, but it's just incredible how long this lasts, honestly. So here we are with the intro first update, second update, and look, there is still like a lot to get through. I just like, this is a sample. I don't understand how people can get through a full size of this. I love it and I wear it like every single day I do makeup. Three times out of the last month I didn't use it when I did makeup, but other than that, like I, I'm using this. So I, I do think it'll get there, but I'm surprised just how long this takes for a little sample but also happy because I do enjoy it so it's nice that a sample does take you a long way. <laughs> Next is my elf lip scrub and I do have to say this did not get as much love this month as it did the first two. I don't really know why I wasn't reaching for it. It just wasn't on purpose. It just kind of wasn't something that was on my radar and the last two times I used it it is kind of like a sugar scrub but in a balm form which is really cool. I love the application of it. I think it's just so easy versus like a scrub you have to put your finger in and kind of rub around. I really like that. It's like mess free, great way to exfoliate. I did find that, I, like I said last two times I used it, it was kind of glazing over on top and you weren't really getting the exfoliation, but we seem to have broken through that barrier and we're back to the exfoliating ways, which is great. So I just kind of have to reach for this product a bit more. Like I see it, but I just don't reach for it, which is silly because how am I supposed to finish it if I don't reach for it? I'll show you guys my progress. So here we are here. It kind of has a little fun shape <laughs> this month. So like little, little progress, but there, there's some, but very, very little. So definitely something I'm going to have to focus on for the next month. Here we have the fragrance I have been using and it is the Miracle So Magic by Lancome. And there is quite <laughs> a lot of uh, progress happening. So this was the intro, then the first update, two months, and that was all I used. I was using this every day. But then from first update to second update, just a month, and look how much has happened. I would say I'm about halfway done this bottle by now, which is really exciting. I love this perfume, but it is definitely 
quite old in my collection and I've recently gotten some perfumes I'm really excited about but I'm so focused on this that I'm not even reaching for those other scents which are new to my collection that I love which I'm not mad about because I do really like this one but I'm just really happy to see the progress because I was a little discouraged at my first update with this one and the reason why I think this is going is because even though it was an older product in my collection it wasn't something that was like even used on occasion really so it was like not really aerated at all so the scent lasted a very long time and I found like the more I use it I don't know if I'm just more used to the scent but I find it doesn't last as long on my skin which I don't mind I still think it lasts throughout the day but now when I get home I do like one more spritz to kind of just like take me from after work all the way till bedtime that extra spritz is definitely helping and then on top of that when I was doing it for those first two months I was only doing one spritz and kind of putting it between each wrist and now I do a spritz on each wrist so all those things combined are definitely helping me go through the fragrance faster without making it overpowering and I'm really happy about that last for the products that have been here since the intro is my Smashbox Limitless Long Wear Gloss and this is where we are it is like basically empty and it's really funny is I lost this for about three weeks I was convinced I had lost it somewhere and I went and put on a pair of like dress pants I usually wear skirts and dresses to work but I was like oh, I'll put on pants today I put on the pants it was in my pocket I was like okay I checked all my poke coat pockets all my purses everything could not find this lip gloss was convinced it was like lying out in the world alone somewhere and there it was in my pants pocket so I think I found this maybe like four days ago but since then I've been using it every day and I was able to make a bit more progress on it I know that if I take the stopper out I won't be able to really carry it in my bag because I don't want the lip gloss getting everywhere so because of that I have been really putting that off but I'm going to maybe take it with me one more two more times to work and then I'm just going to take the stopper out and see how far I can get how much more product I can get out because like that little bit at the end right there like that's not even reachable at this point so we shall see how much progress can really be made I'm not quite sure if there's really that much more I can get out of this but because I had lost this I had already rolled something else in to replace it but since I finished up my lipstick I guess that will replace that so what I did roll in was my MUA lip liner so this is just an anti-bleed lip liner and it doesn't actually have any color to it which is kind of interesting so you can wear it with any color which makes it so easy to pan because you don't have to match it with anything and I did start marking this March 19th because I said it was in place of that lip gloss I thought I had lost so I do have some progress to show you so in the short time this has been in the project it has already made quite a bit of progress for being in it like two not even three weeks so I'm very happy with that and excited to see how this continues so this is replacing the lipstick that is now gone as I finished up this elf poreless primer I rolled in my hard candy sheer envy primer shine free control shine for matte finish so I rolled this in as soon as I finished that so again I have progress to show you because I finished that on March 5th so this is my line from March 5th and this is where I'm at now so already quite a bit <laughs> into it and I kind of I don't know if I can finish this by the next update but I do think like two three months this is going to be gone I don't love this primer this was the least favorite primer in my collection this was my second least favorite primer and after this I really like all my other primers so I'm really happy to be getting this out the reason why I don't like this primer is because I do not find it mattifying. I think that it is actually very good for blurring and for putting it as a barrier for fine lines. I think it looks really nice. I like to put it in my smile line so foundation doesn't sink in. And even on my forehead, I really like it for those reasons. But I do not consider it a matte. So I don't like that it markets itself that way because... For me, it does not work that way. If this works for you as a matte, please let me know because honestly, the first time I tried this, I was like, did someone mix up like the hydrating stamp with the matte stamp? Like I just did not find this mattifying whatsoever. But again, I put this on and I like to wait a little bit, give it some time to sink into the skin because I just think if you put it on and you go within your foundation right away, like it, it needs a moment. And since I finished up that foundation, I'm rolling in one more product. And this is my Maybelline Lash Sensational. I'm sure 
lots of you guys have seen this or probably own it, maybe have tried it even. I've had this in my collection for some time. I'm not sure if you guys really consider this to be fair. I'm not sure how I feel about mascaras and projects because a lot of people, after three months or after a specific timeline, get rid of the mascara. So whether it was in the project or not, maybe they're using it more than they would have, but they were going to get rid of it at that time point anyways. But I guess that's the same for all makeup because it all does expire eventually. I don't really know where I was going with that. But <laughs> this mascara I've had for a really long time. I don't want to have this going into June. So I want to put it in this project because I really want to focus on it. I have a few other mascaras that are also nearing the end of their life, but I do feel like I kind of focus on them a bit more than I focus on this one. And I want to make sure this one is getting some love too. I do think it still is performing well. It doesn't flake off. I do really like it. And it's not the most volumizing mascara for me. I think it gives it a very nice curl, very nice length, but I just don't find it volumizing and that's why I think I don't tend to reach for it but it's lovely to wear for work on a daily basis I mean I don't need to have like huge lashes for work I think it gives some nice definition to the lashes so I, re I do really want to focus on it and be conscious about reaching for it so that is my update I am so happy with my progress and I really don't think I could I would be at this point if it weren't for you guys knowing that you're watching that you're commenting that you're maybe even a little bit invested on in how this project goes for me, really helps motivate and push me. Even though this is a year-long project, I'm not thinking, oh, I'll, I'll work on that in November. Like, I am really working hard on these products, and I am so happy with the progress I made because my first update, I didn't make any progress. So it's really nice to see that this second update has these three products finished, and this is my first project, and I'm just... I'm just really happy <laughs> about how it's going. So please let me know if you guys are doing any projects because I love watching project pans. So if you're doing one, please let me know in the comments so I can go check it out. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see my third update, fourth update, so you know when they're coming out. But thank you so much for watching and for all the support. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye.